Okay, this is our seventh lecture, and uh, today I want to look at uh, a little more detailed or let's say specific uh, topics, especially related with uh, supply chain coordination. We already said there are two dimensions for supply chain design. One is a structural dimension and the other one is uh, infrastructure dimension. And uh, there is only one key construct in infrastructure dimension, which is coordination. How to coordinate this uh, value chain activities and uh, you know how to coordinate all these uh, participants and partners in supply chain. So what is coordination? Coordination is basically, you know, communication or working together and, uh, you know, uh, solving problems together and so on and so forth. So it's a pretty general concept. But uh, when we look at this concept of coordination from supply chain management, we have to make sure that uh, the firms or the supply chain partners must coordinate with each other in order to achieve both efficiency-driven value and responsiveness-driven value at the same time. So always remember the goal of supply chain management. The, the overarching goal of uh, supply chain management is always to maximize efficiency-driven value and the responsiveness driven value at the same time. When we talk about coordination, we you know imply that uh, the supply chain partners must coordinate with each other. And there are two different groups of uh, partners. One is internal supply chain partners, like employees, workers, managers at the same company. You remember when we uh, you know, discuss this typology of coordination. We said that uh, sometimes uh, intra firm coordination is uh, necessary, and uh, intra firm implies it within the firm. And also, the firm or the company must coordinate with uh, external partners, external, you know. Uh, participants in the same value chain or same supply chain. So obviously we have uh, external supply chain partners. These are companies that share the same value chain, suppliers, vendors, distributors, and even customers. So in order to create value, one single supply chain partner cannot achieve that unilaterally. That supply chain entity must work with the other partner companies that share the same value chain. So in that sense, coordination is at the center of supply chain management, especially effective supply chain management. More specifically, oh, for what the company should coordinate with each other. There are many diverse areas, diverse areas where coordination generate lots of values but uh, let's think about a couple of uh, very critical coordination areas in other words the areas where coordination create much value first the company must coordinate with its you know supply chain partners like uh, suppliers vendors and distributors even customers in order to decide which products and which services the company will make and deliver to the market. So the choice of products and services is probably number one area, number one you know, subject the coordination must resolve. Obviously, sometimes uh, you know, uh, people might think that the choice of products and services solely belongs to the top management, top management at the company. In a sense, that's right. I mean, the, the, the companies support the top managers or top 
management or the CEO is supposed to, to decide what kind of products and what kind of services his or her company will make. That's obviously true. But uh, let's say CEO when uh, you know she or he decides the product and services, he or she must uh, talk with some other you know, value chain partners, including customers and uh, sometimes suppliers, right? If I want to make something, I have to make sure that uh, all these necessary raw materials and parts or the supplies are in place, right? And also, I need to make these products and services that will be valued by my customers. And in that sense, I think that the choice of products and services also is also part of this coordination. And uh, another important coordination area is information sharing, especially information about the market demand or the customer requirements. If we consider this uh, intra form coordination, in other words, within the same company, information sharing is also important, right? Uh, the manufacturing department must uh, share information with uh, sales and marketing department and when the sales uh, department tries to enter new market that decision must be communicated with the manufacturing department so that the manufacturing people can start preparing for entering the new market early Otherwise, uh, you know, there might be some discrepancy between uh, functional strategies in the end and that uh, hampers the company's uh, ability to enter that particular market more successfully. So information sharing is not inter-form information sharing. It also implies intra-form information sharing. Nowadays, it becomes more and more important for the suppliers and the manufacturers to work together to develop a new product. Whenever they enter new pro enter new market, or when they try to, you know, de redesign or define their existing product, the companies must pay attention to new product development and uh, this uh, becomes more and more an important area where coordination must create more value. In a similar vein, we can think about R&D as uh, one important coordination area and there are many other joint decision making. For example, sometimes uh, the companies want to do the marketing together advertising or promotion, right? Suppliers and manufacturers uh, sometimes want to do this promotion together and they pay uh, money for the advertising. For instance, uh, Intel might work with uh, their computer, Dell, uh, in a way to promote the Dell products by saying that uh, Intel inside. In other words, uh, their computer has uh, Intel's microprocessor inside itself, and uh, doing that actually, uh, Intel expects Intel wants to sell its own microprocessors more, right? Okay, so that's that kind of a thing is joint decision making. Coordination seems a little, you know, simple terminology. It, it, it's kind of a straightforward. Everybody has. Uh, ideas about what coordination is but in reality when the you know the companies when the supply chain partners decide to coordinate with each other there are some uh, very uh, difficult issues sometimes thorny issues issues that are not easy to resolve between these supply chain partners these issues usually are driven by some of these questions the first one is, who has more knowledge, expertise, and experience? Let's say the supplier and manufacturer coordinate with each other. 
and what kind of uh, coordination methodology they will use and how intensive such coordination will be. If they form kind of a joint team, then who should have more power, who should have more decision right, and so on and so forth. Ideally, I think uh, you know companies might we can we believe that companies might you know decide all these things uh, before they actually get into this coordination. But sometimes it's not easy because uh, you have to decide who has more knowledge, expertise, and experience for that particular marketing point and for that particular product or service in point. And then. Uh, why firms coordinate with each other? Because they expect that the coordination will help them to have more profit, right? Otherwise, the companies have no incentive to coordinate with each other. In other words, uh, you know, the profitability will increase through that coordination. Then the question is how we can measure the performance improvement and how we can measure the profit increase. We gotta have some you know tools to differentiate the normal or regular increase in our profit from this uh, extra profit increase due to coordination. So the measurement is measurement issue is an important one. And then uh, in a similar vein, how to share, how to divide this increased extra profit due to the coordination. And also there is issue of leakage of proprietary technology information. Coordination involves very close relationship, very close communication, very close interaction between supply chain partners. That implies that it's possible that uh, some of my own technology, some of my own information, some of my own you know, know-how might leak to outside this uh, supply chain coordination relationship, right? And uh, I want to prevent that. I want to prevent that. And finally, I think that uh, we need to understand how to have this supply chain coordination in the long run. In other words, how we can make sure that sustainable coordination between supply chain partners. So I would just say that uh, these are some of the key issues we have to always uh, keep in our mind when we discuss the issue of supply chain coordination.